What's up, friends? It's Holland North, and welcome back to Weekly Movie Review. In this week's episode, I'm going to be giving you guys some uh, movie recommendations and also breaking down some of my recently watched films to uh, hopefully give you guys some nice movies to watch uh, with your guys' family and friends. First up on today's shopping block, we've got Trial of the Chicago 7. Now, this movie is based on true events and follows the political activists that were being brought to court for trying to hold their government accountable, whether it be for the Vietnam War or the, 19, uh, or the racial injustice that was occurring in the 1960s. It features some familiar faces, such as Sasha Baron Cohen from movies like the Borat franchise, and also Eddie Redmayne from movies like The Theory of Everything, as well as um, uh, The Danish Girl. Uh, the movie is very dialogue heavy, uh, but the cinematography and editing is quite nice, and I think that keeps you really captivated. Uh, for me, this is a four stars. Next up, we have the movie Under the Silver Lake. Now, Under the Silver Lake is a very cerebral film. It's very surreal. It's not really for everyone. Uh, the movie is definitely a slow burn. It features Andrew Garfield from movies like The Social Network and The Amazing Spider-Man series made by uh, Sony Pictures. Um, it follows a young man who is living uh, in LA and he is trying to solve the disappearance of a young girl that he has a crush on. And in doing so, he ends up uncovering this whole conspiracy set up by the wealthy elites that live in LA. Um, I think it's a must watch. However, I understand why this movie isn't for everyone. So I'm gonna give this a four and a half stars, but I think if you guys give it a chance, it's a very immersive film. Last up on today's list, we have Palm Springs. Palm Springs features the faces of uh, Andy Samberg, and uh, it kind of plays on the classic movie uh, Groundhog Day featuring Bill Murray. Uh, it, basically, its own take on that film. Um, this movie is much more digestible than the other films on this list, uh, but it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of these types of movies. Uh, it's definitely uh, not as artistic uh, or artistically driven as the other films but uh, it's it's quite nice it's a it's a very easy movie to watch it's for sure a comedy and it, it follows uh andy sandberg as he gets caught in a time loop and starts reliving the same day over and over and over again specifically uh he is stuck at a wedding that he uh is spending the night at um and yeah i think it's a nice easy film to watch I'm going to give it a three and a half stars, but I think uh, a lot of people who give this a shot will probably rank it higher. All right, guys, that wraps up weekly movie review for this week, and I will see you next time.